Clubby and I are riding Yamaha World Raids to the Dirty Weekend, an adventure bike meet organised and supported by Steve and Jenny Smith of Adventure Moto. We're heading to Tinga on the central tablelands. It's a two days ride through some excellent open adventure trails. The beauty of the Dirty Weekend is it's not dominated by one particular brand of bike. It's a great opportunity to catch up with fellow adventure riders and ask them the question, what made you depart with your hard earned cash for that bike? Mark and welcome to the Dirty Weekend. Oh, you've picked the place. Look at this. I know. I love it. Lovely blossom. Got to be happy with that. <laughs> Smells nice too. Yes. So what do you got there? What's this? It's a 650 V-Strom. Right. Um, Looks very nice. How many k's have you done on it? It's 18,000. Yeah. Uh, 2012. Yeah. Um, I've owned it for a, probably less than a year. Right. So yes. what, what was the thing that made you depart with your cash for this bike? Uh, what made price. you fall in love with it? $5,600. Price is one thing. <laughs> come with the bags, come with it all set up, had lights, crash yep. bars. So nothing really much to do apart from giving it, give, give it a, a service. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. But my second bike's a DR650. All right. So this one's a bit more refined, a bit right. more... So you like your Suzuki's? I do. Yeah, and they've been reliable for you? They have been, yeah. I've got um, a Suzuki Grand Vitara as well, a car. God! <laughs> I've got a Suzuki engine boat. Oh, you're um, kidding me. Yeah, and I've got a Suzuki Kakari van that I've just got last week to, to, you know, to do up. Wow. To respray. Mate, stuff. a Suzuki man through and through. Yeah. All right, well, welcome to the big, <laughs> the dirty weekend. I nearly call it the big weekend. That'd be dirty a... weekend. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm from Bundy, Queensland. Right, so, okay. So I left at four and I only got here about probably 45 minutes ago. All right, well, you're camped and you're ready to go, and the sun's coming out for you. I love it. It's beautiful. Thanks, Mark. Cheers. Jason, they tell me you you are a long-term Mad TV supporter. You go back to when it was E-Dog 200. That's right, yeah, yep. Watched on the first DVDs that were released on with Trail Zone magazine, I think it was. Get out of here, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so been a while, I've been watching. Oh, that's good. Following your escapades and, yeah. Well, I'm pleased to see you with one of these. I like the rally, it's a good little thing. Yeah. Heaps of fun. So how long have you had it for? Uh, only about a year. Right, okay. Yeah, so. New, second hand? No, it was brand new. I yep. was waiting in line for six months. Yeah. And um, yeah, got it. And. I've got yeah. a Super Tenere for the big trips, but yeah. for playing the dirt, it's uh, it's quite quite magic, I reckon. So, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. where do you come from today? Uh, for, oh, well, from today I only came from deep water. We did a bit of a loop. Right. Uh, originally from the Gold Coast, so yeah. Right. Yeah, came through that way. So, you know, what I'm asking everyone on this theme is, um, what made you depart with your money for this bike? What was the what was the thing that that tipped you over the edge. What what made you, Kate? Nah, that's the bike for me. I wanted to ride more single trail, right? But still have something that could sort of do a bit of highway in between all the trails. Yeah. Um, Super Tenere is just too much of a handful for that yeah. sort of stuff. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, it just seemed I was on the verge of buying a 450L, and then they stopped making them. Yeah. So um, that was the next best thing. So. And then you got this. Yeah. 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 Well, oh. she looks good. Yeah, I haven't done much to it. I was going to say, have you done anything to it? Not really. Got Acroprovic in the tune. Right. Um, and that's about it. I'm still tossing up suspension. Every time I go to Rally Raid, out yeah. of stock. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So um, I, can, I can deal with it for now. It's fine. What, a bit unexpected. So, mate, how, how old's your bike? What? It's a 98. A 98 model? Yep. Have you had it since new or you picked it no, up? No, no. I bought it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it was only a few years old when I bought it. Yeah. So, yeah, I've had it, you know, yeah, what's it, 98, uh, you know, 20 years something. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you love her. She looks in good condition. Yeah. You know, like it doesn't get out often enough. I suppose that's the, yeah. the reason. Yeah. 
It, it's got less than 60,000 kilometres on it. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, just st still almost a virgin. <laughs> yeah, and, and what made you buy the bike? What, what tipped you over the edge? Uh, I, th I think I just wanted to, you know, having trail bikes and motocrosses and everything like that, and then it was like, I just want something I can ride further. Yes. And that was the reason I bought this. So, you know. Now go, those... go and have that adventure camping or, or whatever without having, you know. Uh, you still tend to drag a lot of stuff around with you, whether you like it or not. Yeah. Yeah. I was I... just looking at those uh, panniers there. You, you make them up? Yeah, I did. Yeah, no, they look good. Yeah, That's I made them for somebody else. And, and then he, you know, I said, okay, you owe me 150 bucks. And he said, oh, I can't afford it. The, yeah. And I went... Man, they'll fit me quite fine. <laughs> yeah, and they're, fa they're fairly rugged, probably more so than they need to be. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they they hold a fair bit. I, I did actually measure the Leedridge once, but I forget what it yeah. is. So you got any other bikes? Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, I've got a Honda Dax. I've got a... Yeah. TY80, I've got a TY250, I have a WR, a TTR250, a right. WR400. So you, you still kept your dirt heritage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah. Yeah, there's a KTM floating around the garage too, but I haven't quite laid claim to that yet. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so yeah. you're about the same age as me, aren't you? You're in the late six, mid 60s? Oh, how old are you? 62. How much? 62. I'm 76. 76? You're kidding me. No. Mate, I'll be, if I'm still riding bikes at 76, I'll be really happy. Yeah. Mate. Yeah, it's uh, you young. a bit of, I'd say it's a bit of an achievement. Um, yeah, it is. You know, to still get here. Last year I wasn't uh, in the best condition. Steve, you've got a dog rooter. Now it looks pretty smick actually. Yeah, it's come uh, come together pretty well actually. It's a 2018 uh, DR650. Yeah. It's a bit of a hobby of doing them up and that. Yeah, you got the tower, yep. the tower going, good LED lights. Yep. Had your suspension done. Yep. All the good bash plate. Yep. Good seat. And uh, you've got a shop full of Moscow Moto gear on the back. It looks like it works well. Yep. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, she's a uh, she's a fun bike. I've got a 400 at home, but this thing makes you drive a bit more sedater. Yeah. When you're riding, you know, going crazy on it. It's yeah. A good long haul bike. Yeah. That's what I like. Been to the Flinders on it. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I've got to say, we've got a lot of respect for these bikes. They um, they do big miles reliably and capably, don't they? Yep. Yep. And once you do the suspension up, they're fantastic. Yeah. I think anyway. So what made you fall in love? What made you depart your cash for this bike? What was the thing? Well, I had a four, I've had got a 400 with a big ball kit, wide ratio box. Yeah. I wanted something with a bit longer legs. Yeah. So I sold me, I had a boat, so I sold the boat. And <laughs> I uh, bought this and just fell in love with it and just like customising bikes. Yeah. Bit of a money pit. They are. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps me out of trouble. But it looks good, the Safari tank. So how, how much, how many litres is that? I think it's about up to 32 at the moment because it's expanding. Right, yeah. And that's a yeah, they uh, do, don't they? Yank Roof Rally Tower from Joe Brazier up the sunny coast in Queensland. Yes, yeah, I've seen those before on yep. the bikes. And uh, no, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, and the old Bark Busters, long lived Bark Busters. Yeah, I went across a causeway and slid out. And oh, it's in the last couple of days? No, our last congregation we came at last. Oh, year. right, okay. Did the guard bottom of the forks oh mate but the uh, moscow's yeah, it's sort patina of, patina yeah that's all it is yeah but now i love it and it's, your moscow moto gear works well yeah yeah I, i'm happy with it and your tent works well yeah <laughs> well, it's good it, it sometimes it takes a little while to get that sorted yeah doesn't it? yeah and this is doesn't mind me buying stuff because i don't i don't drink and i don't bed yeah well and that's just, all right sounds got, like me i've got something to show for it yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> But well, Steve, good to have a yarn. Yep. And where are you from? Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Yeah, right. Sunny Gold Coast. George SWM 
I don't see many of them in the campground. What's the go? Well, I had a rush of blood. Yeah. Um, hadn't ridden motorbikes in 20 odd years and yep. saw, saw this one on um, Gumtree for six and a half grand. Six and a half grand. So it was uh, two years old when I bought it. Yeah. It had 20,000 Ks on it. Yeah. And the guy had ridden it on the road yep. the whole time. It had road tyres on it. Yeah. And I have had a lot of fun on it, but I would say the suspension is rubbish. <laughs> the motor is a little gem. Right. Six six speed close ratio husky motor from 2011. Yes, yes, yeah, it's an old husky. Yeah. And um, can't fault the motor, mm. but the suspension is absolute garbage. And I was looking at your aerodynamics there. This yes, is, that that was a homemade thing. Yeah, I moved that out so that it actually hits just at the top of your helmet, helmet. so right. that okay. uh, you're not buffeted at 110, 120. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Anything else done to it? You got some rear racks. No, they come standard. They will with so it. So I, right. I put Andy straps, yeah, panniers yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah. So I've had the back shock done. Yeah. I've put seven and a half weight oil in the front and mucked around with the yeah. um, valving. But it doesn't make up with the fact that it's cheap Chinese knockoff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, suspension. <laughs> so I am going to sell it and I am going to buy a KTM. Oh, that's well. I was going to say, why did you buy it in the first place then? Now, like, you're obviously in love with it. No, no, it just seemed like good value for money. Right, okay. It was just very practical, pragmatic, mm. seemed like good value for money, mm. bam, invested yeah. in it. No, I hadn't had a bike in 20 years. Yeah, so, so it was your first chopper adventure riding then, kind of it stuff. It was, yeah. yeah. So, so I rode a lot of motocross and enduro. Yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah, the weight is an issue, the handling is an issue, but it's fun on the road. Yeah? yeah. It's got good road manners, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. All right, mate, so what's your what's your next co future directions? Uh, I'm looking at a 690. Oh, right, uh, okay. Or a 701 Husky. Yeah, oh, I've got both of those at the moment. I've got an old 690 and a, and a newer 701, and I like them. I think they're great. Mm. And I'm going to get a GS1200 for doing road work. Yeah, well, that's not a bad idea. So you've got to have two bikes, one for more road orientated and one for more bush orientated. Yeah. Well, George, thanks for having a yarn. Dave, welcome to the Dirty Weekend. Hello. <laughs> and a Rally Pro, 900 Rally Pro. How long have you had this for? About two months. Two months. How yeah. are you liking it? Oh, really good. So I've taken it to Lithgo. Uh, yep. Did a running show for like technical um, drills with my mate. Yeah. In the yeah. Yeah. And pretty surprised it handles pretty well. It does. Oh, I was impressed with it when we tested it. I thought it was great. Mm, it is. Yeah. So like, yeah, still trying to get used to it because I have no uh, dirt bike background or anything. Right. So from mountain bike. To the oh yeah, but yeah. mountain bikes all right. Yeah. Yeah, you did a lot of mountain bike riding. I do. Hey guys, quiet on the set. <laughs> Jesus, it's mad TV. <laughs> um, yeah, so so you came out of mountain biking and yeah. you went went straight into a 900. Straight into a 900. Oh wow, that's a that's a pretty interesting change. Terrifying, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's good engine, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty good. Goes fast. Goes fast. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your eyes light up when you said that. With that, yeah. And you got it all set up too. So you got you went for hard panniers. So uh, you kind of set up for camping, are you? Yeah. So hard panniers are just for like touring. So I brought it here because we can like leave it on camp. Yeah, yeah. So I'll yeah. be taking it off once we go for the ride tomorrow. Right. So I'll just be rocking the lone rider. Yep. Back on top, and that's it. Yeah, and you got your crash bars on. You got. The centre stand comes with it, doesn't it? If it I'm... does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. And um, we got the SRC uh, so, crash bars. Yeah. So what what made you pick the the Triumph? Uh, just love the look on it. The, yeah. The matte green. Yes. It's like a military bike. Yeah. And yeah, I just fell fell in love with it. Oh, that's good. Have you got any other bikes? No, I got the MT09. Oh, okay. Bike. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, mate, Dave, good to see you on it, out here you. on this. And where do you come from? Sydney, Western Sydney. All right. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the Dirty Weekend. Thanks. <laughs> Jimmy, we, we're walking past you. You've got a Ducati Multistrada. 
Sure do. Yeah, how long have you had her for? She's pretty new. Yeah. I, she's been in the shed for a while, but it's only got like 6,000 kilometres on it. Oh, right, so okay. Like, so this is its longest ride. Right. So, yeah, I've been enjoying it so far. How, how old is it? Uh, it's a, a 2021. 2021? Yeah. yeah. So, um, probably like an upgrade I did was uh, the racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moscow yeah. racks. Yep. Yeah, Moscow Moto racks. Uh, oh, sorry, not the rack. Uh, Outback Moto Tech. Yeah, Outback Moto Tech yeah, and then the, and the, the, the Moscow Moto. Yep. Yeah, and yep. is on it. But yeah, it's, it's been great. Yeah, but it Which looks a, a good, looks good a treat. Yeah, she's a. So where do you come from? Uh, Bris Vegas. Bris Vegas. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. And I've been on the road for about a week. I've been to Sydney and Grafton and. Right, so yeah. who are you with? Which which is your mob? Um, the other guys riding? No, no, I came came down by my lonesome. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, just um, yeah, just meeting new people, learning yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And what made you pick the Ducati? Why did you fall in love with that? Well, I rode a GS and I rode this, and I I think for me was um, just the feel of it and yep. how it responded, and it's it's four bikes in one really. Yeah. You know, it's got the Panigale in it, good service intervals. It needs a little, uh, one thing I'm definitely gonna do to it is take these off and go the Outback Motor Tech racks and bring it up higher. Right, okay. Because these are a bit of a risk. Right. Um, yeah, but it's been great. The radar's awesome. Yeah, isn't it? It's, it's brilliant. It's, uh, on the road, it was fantastic. Have you ever caught up with Nick Selleck? No. No. And what made you fall in love with it? Um, just, just a feel and how it's, it's. I tell people it's like sitting on a couch. All oh, right, okay. Uh, like the this, it's, you know, like uh, just how it feels, the position, um, yeah. The power is there when I need it. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, Jimmy. It's good to welcome to the Dirty Weekend. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Lance just summed it up. KLR, Soul of the Earth. Now, Clubby and I have ridden these. We like them. So you're, but you're the only one here, I noticed. Uh, at the moment, at I the am. At the moment, yeah, but you reckon they'll come in? Yeah, it might be in. Others turned up. So is this a long-term love affair, Sean, or? or? Uh, it really came down to timing, actually. I, I was actually a little bit late for the DR. Yeah. Even though I was a Suzuki uh, owner. Yeah. Of other bikes and vehicles. Um, yeah. I just wanted something that was modern. I'm a return rider. Right. Okay. So um, I, I I rode when I was younger. Yeah. Um, and then um, obviously um, life's changed. I'm single again. And I want to get back into riding, and this was really the only bike that suited my needs for to be to have L's. Yes. Um, okay. Th there, there's not a lot of options really for a new bike. Yeah. Um, so I chose this one over the, the Himalayan, the 411. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I think with the 411, I would have found it a little bit underpowered after a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that's a. Yeah, this yeah. is more for out. Yeah. In the in the in the bush. I, I jumped on it at the dealer and um, it just felt like a man's bike, so <laughs> I, I found the bike. Yeah. After, now, after looking at a lot um, of seconds. You got bikes. a BMB bash plate. Yes. And but you don't have too many mods, do you? Just some racks. Are they aftermarket racks? Or they, uh, they came no, they're they're actually genuine. They're the genuine racks yeah, and the, but, and then you've I've, put your soft panniers on them. I have, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. these are from R and D racing from the yeah. UK. Okay. So everything you basically said into your KLR yes. segment, yeah. I took note. I've actually watched that a good dozen times. <laughs> well, I'm glad you put the bash in. plate on because oh, that's one that. thing that Clubby and I were yeah. were talking about. And uh, and that's right. We talked about the rear rack and said keep the rear rack. Yes. Now you're making re remember now. Keep the <laughs> rear rack. Get your soft panniers on it. That's correct. And that's what you did. Yeah. And it has the low profile sun plug in it as well. Which ah actually, yes. Which I actually did first before I bought the bash plate. Yeah. Well, so, mate, I'm glad you listened because yeah, that'll dude. save you having tears. Yes. So it's got all, all the bug busters, the, the heated grips. So, Sean, how many k's have you done on it? Uh, probably, after this trip, probably at 26,000. Wow. So you're so, clicking around. I've had it just over 12 months. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And I've just come back from a 4,000 k trip uh, wow. all the way up into um, St. George and Corinda and Gundawindi. And, yeah. and then it went through all the, uh, all the way through the Great Dividing Range. 
uh, back to Shell Harbour. Wow. Uh, south of Sydney. So. Mate, that is a cracking, cracking trip. Yeah, and it did it, didn't it? They, they just effort, munch up the effort, miles yeah, effortlessly. It was, it was effort, effortless yeah. trip. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it broke no records, never will. No. But uh, reliability and um, the yeah, world's most comfortable seat. Oh, yeah, I just agree with you. <laughs> I actually rode two stints. I did four hours of sitting down and... Um, I had one break, and that was coming home from the Barrington Top, so God. it was fantastic. Well, yeah. Sean, I am very pleased and proud that there's a KLR developed, how Clubby and I discussed. BMB bash plate, soft panniers over the OEM racks. Got to be happy with that. Congratulations, Sean. No, and being the here. only KLR bloke here <laughs> at the moment at the Dirty Weekend. Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks, Sean. Chloe, this is the Taj Mahal end of the Dirty Weekend. What's I've just done on? a deal for our bikes to park them indoors tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, indoors. Indoors? Indoors. Come and see. Come, on, it's, come and show me. What? Out of the weather, you know, like here, here. Indoors, I said, right? Yeah, indoors. Yeah. You're kidding me. Oh, hang on. There's a, a BMW a in there already. What? We can probably pillow that out, eh? Yeah, hey. Get our centre world raids in there. Look at that. How cool That's is that? That's outrageous. Oh, is this the guy in there? No, okay, sorry, mate. That is just wicked, isn't it? That is cared for. That and then, bike. and there's a full on tent there to camp in. Uh, oh, that is so cool. That is cool. I am. Clubby, we're Taj Mahal? Yeah, but we're talking about how every different type of bike is here. What's. This what's looks that? like a. Those graphics, CR500 two-stroke. Motocrosser from back in the day. Is that what we're dealing with? i have to get on with? the sunny side. Watch what? his tent. Oh. Don't trip over his tent, oh, Peg. Christ. God, help me. Hang on, let me see this. Oh, you sly dog. It's CR graphics, but it's CRF 300L. Underneath, trick. isn't it? It's a trick all along. Yeah, give Are me we? the bit. Yeah, Just I'm... hold that up in your mouth there. Oh, yeah. Can got you it. give us a story it. on this machine, mate? Right, so I got this bike. Actually, yeah. um, Won yeah, a bike in yeah. a, a raffle. Yeah. But it wasn't the bike for me. And um, when I sold it, I was like, wait a minute, I won a bike in a raffle, but I don't have a bike to show for it. So I bought the CRF 300. Absolutely love the dual sport uh, bikes. Yeah. Uh, this one, I've done the suspension front and rear, put CBR 300 cams in it, done all the airbox mods. If you want to ride it, you can ride it if you want. Absolutely up to you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this bike's had nothing like spared on it everything's been done and uh yes yeah, my lightweight adventure bike i go enduro on it and i do long distances obviously i'll come with you boys from sydney all yep, the way up yep. here and um uh, you know i've done similar trips like the simpson on a wr250 unsupported so i'm all about the little bike life that's yeah. that's me no, little bike man that's what i yeah, like to yeah. see and he's a little bike man in a little tent club you have a go at the tent well, I'll Look take you for the they, tour. They cut, they Wait, cut the tent, it a tent short. Well, I think it's a tarp, isn't is it? Is it a tarp? Yeah, this is the west wing. Let me take you through to the east wing. <laughs> it looks like it's shrunk. <laughs> Something's happened. So this is a US Army Bivy Gore-Tex. Right. Oh, okay. And oh, uh, right. it's got like some garden tubes that keep it off your face, but that's there's not much more to show you, to be no, honest. That's, <laughs> right. that's oh, good. Right. Travelling light, brother. Travelling light. That's how yeah. we do it, mate. Oh, very cool, mate. Very cool. All righty. Well, thanks, thanks for that, mate. Boys, yeah. And sorry, Tell your me name your is? Oh, uh, Luke. Luke. If, if you guys want to see more of this bike, I've got a YouTube channel called Pommy Biker. So there you go. Thanks, guys. Oh, good on you, mate. Chloe, what's going on here? Oh, what's happened? I found a T7, yeah. and there's more than one piece to it. Oh no. This is AJ. AJ. And he doesn't look very proud of what's happened. No, I love it. Love it. You yeah. love the bike. Yeah, it came a bit too quick over a hill. Oh, yeah. Bit of a bit of a right turn. Uh, went into the went into the, uh, the the rut and just kind of hit an emulsion emulsion mount and um, that's it. Yeah, it came over. Can you bit see of... what's been done right here to get a front brake lever? No. Have, a, have a look at that. Have a look at this front brake lever right here. Bit I of need to grab the mic oh. like you're a, you're Channel Nine News reporter. <laughs> now I've seen some MacGyver work in my years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, poor old AJ, he's barreled the front brake lever off. All right. Now, you've got to tell me what you've done what here. Is, what is that? A, to get a front you, brake lever back. Is that a tent that's pick? A, that's a, that's, that's, that's a brake kick. lever. That's it, mate. That's, that's awesome. an That's an a brake lever. Absolutely. Yeah, a bit of a uh, JB World mechanic, bush mechanic work. Wow. Terrific, it's just, that is, an, in, yeah. <laughs> got the uh, duct tape holder on so she yeah. can set. 
Uh, I lost all my screws in the uh, radiator guards. Yeah. Cracked my fairing. That's all right. She'll buff up all right. I oh, that'll be all right. Yeah, a bit of JB weld. Towers took a bit of damage, bit of JB weld. Bark Buster took a bit of damage, <laughs> JB weld. I think it's the tool of the trade, JB weld. <laughs> Too much. You were you all right? Yeah, a bit of a sore finger, but that's about it. Came off, came off pretty well. I'm not too sure. I really don't know. I just fell off and uh, tumbled a bit. Helmet took a bit of a hit, but it's all right. So AJ, when did you get this bike? Ah, uh, start of the year. I grabbed it. Start of the year. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I've taken it out on the MX track, taken it out on trails. And what what made you pick the Tenere? Adam Raymond probably. Adam Raymond. Well, yeah, there you go. Well, Adam's here. Yeah, I know he's here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got got an XR4, yeah, hundred big board. Take that. Took that to the Cape. Yeah. It's like I just want something a bit more power. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously the power is too much, but um, <laughs> no, it's a bit of fun. Yeah, it's good. All right, AJ. Good to hear from you. <laughs> you too, mate. I'll grab that one. Thank you. Yeah. Chris, first Aprilia Touareg I've seen here. How long have you had it for? Uh, 5,000 k's, Dave. 5,000 k's? How's it going? I love it. Yeah? Good yeah. decision? Uh, for me personally, yes. Yeah. And uh, how many bikes have you had? You would have gone through a few? I've had a few, yeah. I've had everything from a TT600 to an Africa Twin yeah. and everything in between. So you've been around the traps and you've settled on an Aprilia. When Clubby and I rode them, we, we thought they were pretty impressive. Yeah, I, I thought they were right up there. I do remember I, I've seen that um, that clip that you guys put together, and that didn't actually sell me on the bike. I, yep. I liked your comments and yeah. the, and the way you rode them and the way they, especially the day one. I remember that was shit. Yeah. But um, for me, it was actually it was a bike that I could buy. It was right here. Right. Yeah. And I didn't have to do anything to it. Low seat height, and you didn't have to do anything. I haven't done anything. No. I've, and... I've put the bits and pieces that I need to commute on it yeah and you run with your your giant loop what's that uh not a great basin that's a smaller yeah coyote smaller. yeah coyote on there yeah and I made, uh, I made my own um brackets yep yeah yeah um, nice job yeah so and like the color it's uh yeah and it's for me it's just awesome i did nearly 500 k's on it today yeah getting here from toowoomba yeah and um yeah just cracker oh mate well, got to be happy with that. Excellent. Welcome to the Dirty Weekend. Good on you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was just about to walk over. John, I would have been run over. Yeah. Hang on. There's more traffic here than in bloody Bondi. All parked up here in Gotham. Yeah. Hey. John Hudson from the APC Rally. It's great to see you, mate. What a bike you've got. How are you, Dave? Good. Mate, yeah. this bike's meant for business. I was going to talk to you about something else, but I got distracted. Yeah. God, that's got some fuel range. Yeah, yeah, so 700 k's. Wow. Yeah, and about <laughs> 500 in the desert. So, APC Rally this year, I mean, I had a look at the, the program. It looks exciting. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah, mate. What, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm trying to go anywhere that I haven't been before. Yeah. So, which creates a lot of work, but the whole idea is we're going to all new towns and the new concept of people doing like a fixed distance each day where, you know, there's 30 guys traveling in sort of a group. Yeah. That's been very popular. There's still the option of people being able to go as far as they want each day. Yeah. And they just follow the pink line and they've got a set of track mates telling them where all the pubs are and how. So it's going, it, and rightfully so, it's probably going a little bit Chardonnay for those people who just want to have a fit, fix, a goal to set for the day and that's it. Yeah. yeah. So in a, in a word picture, in 10 seconds, tell me the loop. Mate, um, the closest start point to Queensland is Kyogle, which is virtually yep. on the border yep. in New South Wales. So Kyogle, down through the Great Divide, all the way down to Wiseman's Ferry. Yeah. Um, and we'll be touching on Stockton Beach um, in Newcastle. Oh, wow. That's a great thing to and do. And then we're um, going through the Blue Mountains, across to the high country, and then, once again, a new route up through the um, western New South Wales. Yeah. So you spend two and a half days doing western riding, and you spend five and a half days doing mountain riding. Yeah, mate, I, I looked at it, and it got me excited. So, uh, mate, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and uh, hopefully uh, Clubby and I can get on board with that. Yeah. But if anyone... Uh, 
hasn't had an APC rally, they need to look it up because it's a cracking thing to do and you do it at your own pace and you just knock it over the way you want. Yeah, and <laughs> the big one is too is that it's just a little bit safer for a person to go and do this sort of riding. Yes, that's so you can right. You turn up by yourself Yep. and you'll hook up with people and you know, the truth is, is that at every start point there are old mates of mine that will keep an eye on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Throughout the day and fix, fix stuff they need fixing. So, yeah. no, it'll be a lot of fun. And the hard one is, though, is we've, we're limited to numbers now because we're trying to do this accommodation where everyone's staying in the one town. Yeah. So that means that I can only have 30 people at each start point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's created a bit more... Um, Work. urgency for people to get, get in. in and get it done yeah you're taking the your mates out for a quick burn yeah, yeah good on you okay mate all right safe trip no, we'll see you back mate. later see you mate bye bye okay bye. see you mate <laughs> so this is the closest i've got clubby to a tent thelma's retreat it was cold in the accommodation last night <laughs> i'm glad i wasn't sleeping on the ground though yeah i just ate every fart you did but apart from that yeah it was fantastic <laughs> have you ever been to such a cold place uh, once or twice, but it's up there with the Himalayas, I've got it to tell is, you. Isn't it, mate? All right. Now, I've got one more question for you. Yeah. Is it running? Yeah. How long have you had your flying undone while you've been walking around all these people? Oh, hang on. Let me just have a look. A fair while. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. wonder they're not talking to you. They're not. They're running. I'm, I couldn't understand. It was like the parting of the seas. <laughs> yeah. My huge wanger was out. Yeah, That's what it was. <laughs> He's a rim lover, this bloke. Look at that, that is a DR800. We better go down and talk to that bloke, I reckon. It's a DR800. So I, I saw these two guys up on the hill. What's your name? Uh, Warwick. Warwick. So Warwick, what's your mate's name? Uh, Rod Moss. Rod, yeah, Warwick and Rod, they had a 701 and a T700, so they're my brothers. I like your uh, setup, bit of a tower. Yeah. Endura stand bags, soft mounted, that's good. And a whopping great big BMB tail rack. And of course, seat concept seat. And this, you've got to have that because it, the, the bloody fuel cap gets the key stuck, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, got the raid. Is it? That's the raid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right, boys and girls, fuel filters. Well done. Well done. That saves you. Now is your. Is this connected? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's good. Nuggets isn't. He's got got a GPS, so he knows where he's lost. Oh, I like the hand levers. Oh mate. Long live 701s. Yay! Where's your mate gone? Now, the Honda CRF. 450RL comes out in December mm. and I noticed you've always been a bit of a Honda fan. Yeah look I've, I've jumped ship a couple of times Honda Yamaha Honda Yamaha and a yeah. brief stint with Husqvarna but yeah uh, I really love this bike and what Honda's done with it. Yeah um, this is actually my son's bike Talon yeah. but I've got the same bike same setup um, and I just think it's such a great bike for short two-day adventure rides i mean there's plenty of guys that have done 20 30 40 000 k's on them yeah. for me i've got a bigger bike to do that but but to do some more technical stuff uh this bike out of the box with a few mods is a really nice uh entry all right well let's let's go over it then let's have a bit of a look and a talk so what do you what have you got so it's this is a 2018 um serif 450l yeah. um it's got a 20 litre nomad tank australian made yeah, yeah. um the guys down there do great work on these tanks. They're a really good fit. Um, he does a 15 litre version as well. So yeah. choose your poison. Yeah. Um, it's also got a Vortex ECU. Yeah. Yeah. Now the early models 
weren't known for having the best fueling and yeah. the ECUs weren't great. Um, from what I understand, the 450RL may be a bit better, yes. which will be really good. It means you won't have to spend that extra bit of money yep. on them. Yeah. Um, this one's also got a Yoshimura full system on it. Yep. Uh, my personal one, I want to run an Arrow. It's one of the brands that we distribute. Yeah. Um, I like the Arrow a bit better. It's a bit quieter. The, yeah. the Yoshi's a straight through US system, so it is a bit louder. Yeah. Um, we've got a uh, just a generic um, rear bag on it. Yeah. Yep. Um, a seat concept seat from Adventure Moto, which yep. you just you just can't own one of these bikes no. without. There you go. You know. Yeah. No. Um, any sort of venture riding, it's just. Chalk and cheese. It is, um, isn't it? Yeah. A short little tail tidy just to keep it nice and neat at the back. Yeah. Um, he's got some Polysport uh, CRF 450R swing arm covers that he modified yeah. to get onto this one just for chunks and putting some stickers on. Yeah. Uh, some Fastway foot pegs. Yeah. Um, we've got the Adventure Spec up the front here, the Adventure Spec uh, mini tower. Yeah. Now, looks good. normally it does have, we've actually got a new screens for bike screen. We've gone away from the Adventure Spec half screen. Yeah. And um, there's actually a full uh, screen for bike screen that actually fits on there. Yeah. Um, now, runs uh, Zumo XT with the group ride radio on it. Right. Um, which is, it's a bit of a funny thing, but anyway, um, it works okay. It's just not something we use a lot. Yeah. Um, a rig gear, uh, 27, uh, Sorry, rig gear waterproof tank bag and the yeah. rig gear um, throwover saddle bags as well. Yeah. And obviously Pirelli tyres, um, runs yep. XC mid softer and XC mid hard depending on what riding he's doing with an MX extra uh, yeah, on, on the, the rear. Yeah. yeah. No, and, um, it's a great setup. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, a, he's only 20 years old. Yeah. Uh, he's on his learners. He'd love a T7 or, or a Trans Alp. Yeah. This is a great place to start. It is. It's great. And it's really given him a good opportunity to not get into trouble. Um, yes. We've done the high country together. Um, we've done a few um, mid north coast New South Wales rides, yeah. and it's the perfect bike for him, and the perfect bike for me if I want to do some more technical adventure riding. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm really glad Honda's bringing it back. You yeah, know? we're losing models left, right, and centre. Um, yeah. DR650, WR250R, the whole heap of bikes that are at the Dirty Weekend this weekend you can't buy anymore. Yeah. So for Honda to be able to bring this bike back at a competitive price point, I believe it'll be around twelve and a half plus yeah. on roads. Um, you know, it's $5,000 cheaper than a KDM 500. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a, a really good two-day adventure bike. And, and actually, this morning we've had it on display at the motel stand. Yeah. And I've had comment after comment about blokes yeah. that uh, who want to go from a, small, a bigger bike, yeah. downsize, or, or have that two-bike policy. Yeah. Or as Dave and I have a three, four-bike <laughs> policy. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it, it is that good. You yeah. know, you could... It takes five minutes to turn this thing back to a trail bike, if yeah. you really want to. Yeah. I ride this quite easily with the 20 litre on it in the bush. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I'm, I'm just, you know. I'm Mate, you, a... you're frothing, I reckon. Yeah. So um, anyway, we're going to hook on it. Clubby and I are working with Honda to try to get one, a couple of those and yeah. go for a decent ride on them. So. Look, and one thing I didn't mention too, yeah. six-speed gearbox, which is really yeah, important yeah, on an adventure cool. bike, yeah. and, a, and a nice heavy subframe. Yeah. Um, as you know, on the KDM and with your 501 yeah, 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 build, the, Dave, got there's... A, there's no real subframe it. on those things, no. so you've got to improvise or get something produced. Yeah. Um, and it's a nice low revy motor. Um, yeah, look, great package all around. Dave O'Rourke, great to see you here. Thanks, Dave. Mate, Appreciate dirty it. Dirty weekend. Looking forward to next year. John, here's an Aprilia lover. There's only three here, but they don't know what they're missing out on, are they, John? No. No, they don't know. No, mate. It's a no. brilliant bike, and you took it up after we... Copy and I did the review. Uh, that's correct. I was looking um, to change bikes. Yeah. Um, I had a little list that I was knocking bikes off the top of. Yeah. And um, uh, I saw your review. Um, yeah. It was the second one I'd seen and it was pretty impressive. And yeah. It made me go and have a second look at the Aprilia and well, to, my final decision. Well, to make sure we're not full of shit, how have you found it? Found it brilliant. Yeah, it's um, I've gone from no technology on the last bike I had. Yeah. To all the latest technology. Yeah. And um, yeah, it makes it, it makes me look good. Oh, that's good. And and you haven't done much to the bike. I noticed there's a, a heavier bash plate. Yeah. Which it needs, and that yeah. looks solid. What's that? A. Uh, that's a B and B. A B and B bash plate. They B and B do good gear, and they've yep. done a tail rack as well. Yep. Yeah, that looks all right. Oh, wow, I see, I, and you've covered I, it. I, I put some, yeah, because this, my tool bag slid around. All right, just made it a bit sticky. Yeah, so I just made it a bit a bit more grip. And you got some SW Motec bars just to protect the radiator. Yep. Is that it? That's pretty much it. I, um, 
Yeah. A little light, light protector. A light protector from the bigger rocks. Yeah. Yep. Wow, mate. Looks good. How many Ks have you done on it now? Um, just under 4,000. 4,000? Worn out one set of tyres. Yeah. And where have you taken her? I come from Tweed Head, so yeah. in all the areas around around home. Yeah. Um, through the national parks around home. Yeah. Oh, mate, that's brilliant riding up there. It's yeah. lovely. And, John, um, how many bikes have you had over the years? Oh, I can't count. Um, a lot. A lot. I started off on a um, TS-185 Suzuki yep. when I was about 15. Yeah. Um, RMs, PEs. You sound like my vintage, because that's exactly what I did. Yeah. And you so say, when did you get into adventure? Oh, well, we used to call it trail bike riding. Yeah, it's um, just long uh, trail bike riding, isn't it? Uh, and then um, my, my life took me onto the road. Yep. So I had road bikes for about 30 years and <laughs> got back into this only a month and a half ago. Well, picked this up a month and a half ago. Wow, and you've already done that many Ks. That's brilliant, mate. And of all the bikes you've had, where do you put this on your joy rating? Is it up there? or? It's at the top. It's at the top? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, I'm glad that I don't leave with my tail between my legs and, and Clubby and I were vindicated because it's a, yeah, we think it's a cracking bike. We're, the only thing we're surprised is that more aren't, aren't here. Like, they're yeah. such a good bike. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. All right, John, great talking to you, mate. No, no. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, mate. Welcome to Mad TV. Catch you later. See ya. Can you can you paint that turd again for me, please? Just action. What am I saying about you can't polish your turd? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Clubby polishes them all the time. <laughs> yeah, so this is time. So three, two, one. We might have it where your engine is. Eight. It's just um, starting to scare me a bit. <laughs> Ready, set, go!
You're still in the race, Troy. Get her up. Keep going. There's no timing on that. There's no timing on that. Just keep going. You're good. That's all right. Oh. oh. Where'd that come from? Start, George. Good luck, my friend. All right, there you go. All right. Right. George catches skunks. It's a skunks. He does. He's a skunk catcher. And you might think there wouldn't be much employment in Australia for skunk catchers, but he used to work in America. Hmm. Here goes George. George from the Central Coast, the skunk catcher, he's away. This is a bit of a distraction. It is. It kind of... 